Okay, we uh, got the caliper hooked up on the strut. And as you can see, there is no, the line's flexible. With, there's no stress on the line, which is what you want. You don't want just, you don't want that caliper just hanging, dangling by itself, because that could damage the brake line. This is a pressure, it's pressurized. So uh, this is also rubber, plastic, so you put too much stress on that and it's gonna, it's gonna start leaking. So you gotta be real careful with this line. And uh, I just use an old coat hanger and just wrap it around the caliper here. And the next step I'm gonna do is take out these brake pads. They normally just pop out. You just have to just tap them out sometimes. And these are your metal tabs. Then you're also going to replace these metal tabs. And you're going to put grease on them. It comes with the grease. And here you go, you got your brake pads out. And as you can see, they're they're worn. I mean, they can still go, but this is my project, so I wanted to go ahead and change them out. So I'm going to show you these compared to the new ones. See so how much thicker the new ones are compared to the old ones. So depending on how, how much you use a car and how much you use the brakes uh, you might have got another year out of these so but anyway we're gonna go in with these brand new ones uh, this is one thing that's usually not talked about it's uh, the nipple or the, where you bleed your brakes when you go to bleed your brakes that's a good idea to go ahead and crack this line just a little bit in order to uh, when you go to press in the calipers it will relieve pressure you don't want to open it all the way you just want to just crack it just a little bit so that way uh, there's no internal damage done to the calipers most people don't do bother with it but it's not a bad idea it only takes a couple minutes to do to Okay, the next thing you want to do is loosen these bolts up that go inside the caliper. They're like floating type bolts. You got one on top and one on the bottom. One right here and then one on the bottom. And then after you loosen these up, then you want to take off take off your main bolts uh, from the caliper. So I'm going to uh, loosen the... Uh, <clears throat> I call them brake bolts first. I'm going to loosen them up first.
You got one here, and then you got one on the bottom. And there we go. This is your color. And we loosen this nipple here just to, so when we go to press in the caliper. It doesn't da damage the internal uh, seals. So we're going to place a uh, piece of wood over the calipers and press these in using a uh, using a C-clamp. Okay, you can stop it. As you can see, I just used a piece of wood, and I'm going to put it over each piston, and I'm using a C-clamp in order to do it with. This is a uh, about a six inch C clamp so basically uh, just start turning it until the piston goes all the way towards the bottom But once the piston is retracted, it's not going to come back out. So. Just nice and slow. It actually, it's going a lot better since I cracked that little nip on the back. It's uh, <clears throat> you're retracting a lot, a lot better. Okay, so now we got them both retracted, and we'll start <clears throat> installing our brake pads. So this is the uh, pistons that are retracted. They're almost flush with the calipers. What you want, and just make sure you keep this uh, from. Just hanging down, be careful with this line. And the rotor normally just uh, comes out, will normally just come right out. So you can see there's a lock washer here, so I'm going to have to.
Put those tails back in. Let's see here. That's it. Take your rotor off. You can check your studs, make sure everything's good. But this is uh, <clears throat> that's a different story. But you want to make sure all your studs are good, which they are. So you got your rotor off, and we're gonna put the new one on. And also, you want to also make sure you have some degreaser. We you go to. Uh, Clean it. Okay, you can pause it. Okay, another thing you want to do is grease the ears on the brake pads. So you don't want to you don't want to overdo it just just enough where you cover the ears. <clears throat> You turn that water? Hmm. Are you going to pause it? Okay, now that I greased the uh, brake pad ears and I put and saw the metal clips in each one, one here, there, 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 there's four of them. So now, and I also greased them. So now I'm ready to uh, slide the brake pad in. And uh, <clears throat> they can go. In either way, either I mean they can go either on the outside or the inside, it don't matter. But there is only one way they go in, and so uh, you can't like say this way. You can't you can't put it in this way. There's no it just won't it just won't do it. They, thank goodness, cause uh, <laughs> there'd be a lot of brakes that were put in backwards. So there's only one way to put it on, and it's going to be this way. So.
Mm hmm. Never replaced a Ford to brakes before, so the first time we do things a little bit different. Okay, this is gonna go this way. 